A startling snapshot of the fears and the frustrations facing many of the UK's elderly carers. Jessie is 79 years old and has spent more than half her life looking after her 44-year-old disabled son, Andrew. She told ITV News she's frightened about what will happen to him when she dies. Such is her lack of faith in the care system. She even wonders if it would be better for him if he died first. Jessie struggles with the growing physical and mental toll of being a full-time carer and the financial pressures are mounting too. At the start of Carers Week this week, some warn it is yet another sy symptom of the growing crisis in social care. Our Scotland correspondent Peter Smith has this special report. There is a caring crisis across the UK now, but it's hitting hardest in rural areas. OK, Andrew. Where support is in short supply and families feel cut off. This is every day. Jessie will be 80 next year. She lives alone with her 44-year-old son, Andrew. He has a learning disability and is partially paralysed. He does have seizures during the night, so that I could be up with him for about an hour uh, during the night. I don't know what it is um, to have a good night's sleep. This is not how Jessie thought she would spend her retirement, sharing a bedroom with her son, still washing him, carrying him, and it's all becoming more difficult. Though it's got a walk-in shower, you're still bending, and I do suffer. I do suffer with my back, uh, but there's nobody else here to do it, so you just have to do it. ITV News has highlighted physical and financial pressures mounting on unpaid carers, living on a carer's allowance of just over £350 a month in Scotland. But for elderly carers, that strain can be even more acute. When they hit retirement age, they're no longer paid the carer's allowance, even though the caring continues. I think it jolly well needs to be looked at. Give us a decent life. Give us carers a decent life. Because we are saving the state millions and millions of pounds looking after our loved ones. And dear knows what's going to happen when I'm no longer. This is my fear and worry what will happen when I'm no longer able to look after Andrew. This fear about what happens after they're gone is now one of the biggest worries for parents like Jessie. The UK has a critical shortage in trained care workers and facilities, meaning some adults with learning disabilities are being sent to live in homes for the elderly just to fill the gap. I'm not wishing or praying, but sometimes I think maybe it would be better if Andrew passed away before, before his mum. And it's awful. That's it. So Parents say, happen to say that yeah. because we can't get we can't get proper care or can't get financial help as well, you know. That's not something any mother wants to ever say. The, exactly. There are about 118,000 people like Jessie in Scotland, over the age of 65 and still doing the work of a carer. Data now shared with ITV News illustrates the mounting pressure on them. 80% say their physical health is being harmed, even more say their mental health and well-being is suffering. And almost half say they had to miss a health appointment for themselves in the last 12 months due to their caring role. The researcher who analysed this data tells us Jessie's concerns are increasingly common. I think there is a general consensus with adult carers who we've been speaking to um, is that there are deep, like Jessie, there's deep fears for the future. People with learning disabilities are living longer um, due to medical advancements and um, that's obviously welcomed. It's great for families, but what we also need to recognise is that there are more pressure put on unpaid cares. No parent should ever wish that their child passes before them. In a statement, the Scottish Government told us carers should speak with their local carer centre and social work department to find out what support is available. The UK Government said they continue to provide financial support to unpaid carers throughout the UK. On the ground and hold on, well done. Jessie has dedicated her life to giving Andrew the care he needs, but after all she's put in, she says she feels taken for granted, underappreciated and unseen. Some days I feel I wish I could have somebody to speak to, 
nobody, there's no one, realises how much I've done for my disabled son. And I don't think anybody has really listened to me. Or How do you think you've been treated by, I, by this country, I, society? I think, being honest, Peter, I've been treated very badly. The government, social workers, councils and that, they're needing to get a grip of their cells and just think, you know, think about the vulnerable people and recognise them and dish out what they deserve to get. Jessie hoped she would have some peace of mind at this time in her life. Instead, she has sleepless nights, backache and worry. She has it in her will that when she's gone, she wants Andrew to be cared for in his own home, but she has no faith her wishes will be respected. Too expensive, too few care workers. And so, like so many elderly carers now, she looks ahead with fear. Peter Smith, ITV News, Montrose.